Hey guys, just me today. I'm working on some Project F stuff. Uh, as you can see right here, um, the plan for the supercharger is it will need to have a 180 80 degree bend um, because this, the, the throttle body will be right up against the firewall so we can't have that. So what I went ahead and did is I cut out a cardboard bit for the, um, the plate that we're going to make. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this up against a thin piece of steel. We're going to cut it and uh, make it fit on here. So we will place that there. And then once we have the steel plate, <clears throat> we're going to weld on a 180 degree uh, steel bend. We're not going to use aluminum. We don't have a welder that can do aluminum at the moment. So uh, we're just going to do a steel. Uh, we could probably wrap it in some type of like heat tape or something to keep it down a bit. The steel will uh, heat soak a bit more than aluminum, but it's all that we can do at the moment. So working on that, I am also going to be trying to assemble the heads. As you can see right here, I got the valves in on this one. We also polished up the exhaust ports, got some of the valves in and the valve seals on. Um, I'm not sure if it was mentioned, but the, um, the cylinder one uh, intake valve, it is uh, a bit dead. So we cannot use that. You can kind of see right there, there's a little bit of pitting on there. Let's see if I can focus on it. As you can see right there, there are pits right on the seal. So it is not something that we can reuse. So we are going to order a new one. Uh, this is the only one that was not salvageable. Everything else works. Um, they got all all ground down so they're, they'll make good contact. And uh, I'm going to be putting together the cylinder head, see about, about getting these uh, valve springs on, everything in. Um, I'm going to just focus on the passenger side because we do not have the valve for this one. Yep, so that's what, that is what I'll be working on today. Um, just making progress on it. One thing I forgot to mention is the um, lower intake manifold here. Um, I only posted photos on Instagram, um, but I did port this. Um, so originally it would only have like an opening like this big. So um, basically what people do is they open it up uh, as far as it can go for the um, outlet of the supercharger. So it'll just have more area to push the compressed air. And I also gasket matched the outlets here. So it will fit with the ported intake or ported heads uh, as well. So this is like a $430, $420 job from ZZP that's just really easy to do in your home um, if you just follow basically this. This diagram, Tristan has a ported one from ZZP already, um, so I just use that as reference. Um, it helps to just drill holes and then grind it down with an air grinder. Um, you won't be able to do it with a Dremel very easily. It takes a long time. It's actually fairly thick aluminum. So um, the lower intake manifold is also gasket matched, uh, ported, and then the top side is ported as well. So um, pretty expensive porting job that you can do for free. Um, yeah, it's definitely worth it. So uh, just got reminded I needed to do some porting on the actual inlet to the supercharger. Um, basically the supercharger here is 72 millimeters and it needs to be uh, bored out to uh, 75 millimeters for this V8 uh, throttle body adapter. Um, the adapter is not going to go on this plate but I just used it as reference. Um, we're going to be putting that steel plate on here, the 180 degree uh, piping and then we're going to put this on the other side so it'll be like over there or whatever. But uh, just as reference it fits up pretty well. You can see that it makes a perfect seal all around. I'm probably going to go in here and just do a bit more um, smoothing. Um, just the more that we can do the better. Um, but yeah, it's it's right on. It's not. It's right at 75 millimeters now. So, got that done. I'm also going to be. I'm going to be pouring the top side of the supercharger here, uh, since we opened up the. Um, since we opened up the um, lower intake manifold uh, to be bigger. <clears throat> stock, it's like this size, uh, like I mentioned. So once you open it, that lower intake manifold up, you need to remove this bridge right here. So you just make it. Uh, flush with this, these two surfaces here, and then also on these, 
you can just grind them down to create a V, or you can grind them down to create a V and also lower them to the surface. So um, I'm going to start working on that as well. <clears throat> uh, we still haven't decided what we're going to do with the silencer ports. Um, Tristan gave uh, or sold a supercharger, a supercharger to somebody, and they were going to do it. And uh, he's just waiting on that to hear how it sounds. Might be really loud, so we don't know. Um, but this is uh, getting closer to being finished, so I will update you once I have some more info. Alright, just filming an update with the porting process. So I went and uh, polished up everything, the uh, outlet, and then also these uh, little chunks that were here. These little bits that were here. Um, this might be that side, I'm not sure. Anyways, um, cut these off. Um, ideally, we'd like to bring these all the way down, but um, it's a lot of metal and it's going to take freaking forever. So, this is really all that you need to do is open it up so it makes the V shape a bit. Um, and then I started cutting these up and now I'm going to grind them down. Um, like I said, it just opens up. You just remove this bridge so uh, it's able to push air farther into the intake manifold. So, uh, just showing a little progress there. Alright guys, just finished up with the supercharger. I got the uh, inlet where the throttle body, well, I guess we're not putting the throttle body there, but inlet uh, board to 75 millimeters, so it fits with the V8 throttle body. I just finished up uh, fully porting the um, outlet here. Alright, as you can see there, uh, the bridge is gone, completely flat and smooth now. Uh, I really worked on just like smoothing everything out in here. Um, the squares are gone, smooth that out, so it's just a good wide open uh, shot for the air to come through. Um, basically everything all the way up here is going to be pushing air. Um, on Tristan's supercharger this bit right here has been removed too because this hole actually doesn't go anywhere. Um, so might come back to it, but I mean it's not that, it's not going to be that much of a gain. Uh, for what we can do. I mean, might be able to distribute the air a bit more to the cylinder that's going to be right around here, but um, it's not that big a deal. Everything's all smooth. It's main, mainly just this bridge that you need to take out because if uh, you're just porting this part right here, it does get you more airflow, but you are restricted to about that much. But when you remove the bridge, you have all this area that's able to distribute the air. So, um, done with the porting of the supercharger. It is uh, very nice. I made sure to keep everything very clean. Uh, didn't let any uh, aluminum or dirt or dust or whatever it's you know taken off of it to get into the bearings where the rotors sit. <clears throat> so everything still smooth, spins smoothly, and you can see all that air that's pushing right there before it was only about that much so pretty good very cheap uh f virtually free horsepower just by porting your own uh, this is a gen 3 supercharger so you just kind of want to bring it up to the efficiency of a gen 5 these don't really get there but it does add power by doing this so uh, very cheap and easy and it's matched with the lower intake manifold and then the outlets for the lower intake manifold are gasket matched and so are the uh the uh, air intake ports on the head so it'll be pushing lots of air and we also did polish the um, exhaust as well the exhaust ports so um, it's just a very light porting job all around so it should be good for a little bit of gain so uh, I'm gonna work on some other things I said I was gonna be working on these cylinder heads but I didn't even touch them yet um, just been working on the supercharger so that'll be my next my next project but first off is clean. There's so much aluminum everywhere. This vacuum is uh, probably full of aluminum right now. 